Something to this extreme is really rare. It was after the Amber Alert when she finally broke down and confessed that she had lied and made up the story. An emergency alert for a missing child stolen from her mother's arms ends with a wild goose chase. Authorities say that entire story was a lie. Good evening, I'm John Becker. Robin Wilhoyt is off on this Friday evening. Police did issue an Amber Alert for a missing child that was canceled within hours and pulled back on the all-out search after they say the woman made up that story. Knoxville police say 26-year-old Crystal Franklin of Knoxville did call 911 and gave a false report about someone stealing her 10-week-old child. We turn now to 10 News reporter Jim Athene. And Jim, early on, police said they didn't buy this story. Right, they had their suspicions, but they still have to go ahead like the story is true. But after questioning Franklin for a few hours, police say she finally confessed the, the entire story was fake. Now that story, it began just before 11 o'clock this morning with a call to 911 from Harrison Street just off Magnolia Avenue in East Knoxville. Franklin told police she had been walking down Magnolia when a man and a woman robbed her, stole some of her cash, but also made off with a car seat that had her 10-week-old infant girl in it. Now she gave police this photograph, said that the child's name was Jaden, and there was some suspicion about her story, but TBI ultimately decided to err on the side of caution and go ahead and issue that Amber Alert. Well, it turns out Franklin does not even have a 10-week-old child at all. That picture is of a relative's baby, and this whole story was made up. We, we hate that. We, uh, you know, the last thing you want to do is, is overuse an Amber Alert and uh, use it in cases where, you know, such as this. But, um, you know, we had to do what we had to do to try to find that child until we were able to determine that there actually was not a child involved. Now, KPD says Franklin is currently in custody. Uh, they say she did have a personal motive for this fake report, but would not give any details or explain what that motive was. Now, KPD says Franklin is undergoing a psychological evaluation, and that evaluation is going to determine what else she is going to be charged with beyond filing a false report. And KPD says it is very annoyed by the situation because it ends up devoting a lot of resources mm -hmm. to what ends up being a hoax. Mm -hmm. We're going to have more on exactly what kind of resources and time and everything else we're wasted with this fake report coming up at 6 o'clock.